and welcome to my channel and this is top five wednesday top five wednesday is a goodreads group that was moderated by sam from thoughts on tomes and this week's topic is books from your hogwarts house y'all know i don't read harry potter i haven't read harry potter I have no clue so I actually had to do a whole lot of research so as you can see I have on my green because guess what house I'm part of Slytherin green and silver the color the traits there's that they're cunning they're ambitious they're resourceful they're shrewd they're in determined um, it's like a fraternity and they're clever those are the criteria that I decided to choose when choosing these five books they're in no particular order and as you can see i have my my own little sorting hat going on it's actually colored poop so you can see it lean down yeah my colored poop but anyways back to the books yes i picked these five books and i'll give you the reasons why i picked them since i've never read harry potter i really can't go off of anything other than the fact of the colors of the house and what their traits are so let's get to it. I'm not going to number these this time because, like I said, they're not in any particular order. First of all, we have Excess by Kate Stewart. And I am in the process of actually doing that video review, but the reason I picked this book for this category is because this book is all kinds of twisted and crazy and dark. It's cunning. It's just Ah! just so many feelings so many feelings about this book it's a five-star read for me I completely enjoyed it I yeah the video review will not be done by the time this goes up because this goes up tomorrow on Wednesday for top five Wednesday read that story and all of those traits are in that book the next book is going to be Stark Resolution by C.D. Bradley and the main reason I picked this book was because it has a beautiful green black and silver cover. That's it. Yep. Next book on the list is going to be Devil You Know by L.A. Fior and the reason I picked this book is because it has to deal with law enforcement and brotherhood and being one it's a murder mystery it's about finding long lost love. It's so many things. I will link that video review down in the description box as well. But yeah. So Fraternal Order of Law Enforcement. That's why I picked that one. The next book is going to be Cunning by Alethea Roman. And mainly because the name or the title is Cunning. And that's a trait of Slytherin. So that book got picked. Then finally, I have That Which Destroys Me by Kimber S. Dawn, and that book was, the female character in that book is determined, the villain of that book is, whew, has cleverness and is cunning, he's resourceful, or they're resourceful, and oh, there's just so many reasons why this book should be on this list besides the fact that it's dark and twisted and crazy yes because that's how i think of slytherin when i think of slytherin don't ask me why i just think they're dark and crazy probably because the movies that i have watched of harry potter portray slytherin as sort of dark and you know twisted and a little crazy sometimes they all have their good points and they all have their bad points but you know whatever whatever so that is my top five wednesday do my books fit have you read the books that i just listed off and do they fit into the slytherin house i don't know but that's how i pick them as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel there's a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. I've also started a Goodreads group and that information is down in the description box as well. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.